Hello, hello, hello. Ja, äh, the 24 professors, what did they find out? What is the problem of human beings? What is the central problem? The central problem is that we are rewarding, giving donations to the people in the world when they do bad things. Think about prov provocating a war. We give the, we give the, uh, 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 the war, uh, the weapon uh, industry, we give a lot of money. So we give them donations for something bad. Right. Crazy, huh? Of course, yeah. yeah. But it's, that's how uh, mankind has always been, I guess, yeah. since the beginning of civilization, right? Yes, uh, the professors say since 400,000 years of the time of the late Homo erectus, mm -hmm. we invented trading and specializing. Yeah. And so then the problem again, because uh, think about pharmaceutical industries. When I get cancer, they get a lot of money. Why don't we give them a lot of money if I don't, ne if I never get cancer? Of course, yeah. It's it's not uh, preventive care, but what is it called? It's uh... it's 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 a repairing system. We need a preventive system yeah. in every field. We must we must prevent. War. We must prevent diseases. We must prevent unhappiness. We must prevent. Yes, this is the basic idea of the professors, and they say it's a, it's turning the whole system uh, upside down. Mm. Mm. I hear you. Yeah. 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 yeah I agree. I make you one example. One of 20 reforms. A reform. Is this the right word? Yes. Reform. reform. Mm -hmm. Think about here. He would be a do medical doctor, okay. and he would have to. He, he gets a lot of free time because he don't have to uh, write anything down, documentations and so on anymore. Anymore because this doesn't count anymore. He offers me uh, free uh, for free. He offers me food courses about healthy food, about sports. Healthy sport club. He he makes a little healthy sport club. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fitness club and so on. He makes dance uh, events without alcohol. Yeah. Without alcohol and cigarettes and so on, he 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 helps the the lonely people to get to 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 get rid of the loneliness. Yeah. That would be really nice. Yes. Really nice. But uh, who is going to, you know, then you would need to change capitalism. This is a soft change of capitalism, yeah. but it is a soft one. It's no revolution. It's revolutionary reforms. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And, and uh, this means uh, uh, the medical doctor, a medical doctor is the boss of the uh, patients association in Germany. And he says, 70 billions, billions, milliarden in Deutsch, 70 billions every year. We can save by prevention in the healthcare field. And if we take 60 billions of it to the climate problems, we can solve the problems and can stop the coal industry at uh, 20, 20, 20, 26. Can I say, uh, how are you going to break the vested interests and the accumulation, accumulated capital yeah. without revolution? Because, Because we don't break it. We break, don't break it. We, we uh, help them financially to, uh, to uh, get, uh, get, get in contact with a new world. So the pharmaceutical industry gets a little money, gets money, For, for the change they must make, because in Germany they will not sell so much uh, uh, cancer therapies anymore. If we help them a little bit, we don't have to break them, because they are stronger than we. This is the, the idea. The professors were old uh, 68ers, uh, 68 hippies and so on, also sometimes, some of them, not all of them. Uh, but we know We always lose because uh, capitalism is strong. If you fight against him, mm -hmm. the professors say, no, we, we turn the world around mm -hmm. and help them to, to find their place in this new world. Yeah? But isn't it all about creating higher profit margins? 
The problem, the, the problem is uh, that we say, also as a uh, the revolutionaries, the revolutionary people, they say, oh, we have to stop all with rich and poor and so on. Totally, totally. Uh, and the others say, oh, yes, we, we want to make the distance between poor and rich very much smaller. But if we do it totally away, we have the problems we had in uh, DDR, in, in German Democratic Republic, where, where nobody had uh, energy to work because they had just said, okay, I get my money without doing anything, so I don't do very much. <laughs> and this problem is, so that we say, profit, profit is no good, no nice thing, but we, we must reward uh, someone who is working, a doctor who is working very hard to help me to get never to never get ill we must give him a reward for it yes and this is this is not to to totally revolution but it's a good way I, uh, it's, it's, uh, but we must discuss whether you think uh, revolution would be better i don't think this change would be possible without changing the whole way the whole system functions and that's why a revolution is really necessary i think a revolution is Un I don't want a revolution, but yeah. I think it is unavoidable because people just don't give up power that easily. Yeah. The problem, uh, the professor uh, just said, uh, this revolutionary reform is, uh, is going to the base of capitalism because the base of capitalism was to make profits by damaging the environment, by m sending out poisons and uh, uh, and uh, CO2 and other things. And, uh, uh, and so even a pharmaceutical industry boss could say, oh, I don't want to get cancer either. Yeah? So why, why don't we make this reform and, and the state helps me uh, that we can survive as, as a health care institute, as a health improvement institute. And so it's a compromise. It's a, we are, it's a peaceful compromise. It is, but uh, yeah. for a compromise you need to get one side to agree with the other. And yeah, yeah. I don't think the pharmaceutical industry would agree. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, so I... <laughs> You must think, as the, as the professors found out, how the pharmaceutical industry thinks, because many of them are medical professors, yeah? And the pharmaceutical thinks, industry thinks, we are the best of the world, we are helping the world to be happy and, and healthy, yeah? They really think it, they really believe it. They don't know what they are doing. Uh, it's like, like James Dean, uh, they, they don't know what they are doing, yeah? And, this is a form of unconsciousness, yes? Uh, the people think they are doing good things and because they got get so much money for it, they never think about it anymore. So you think the people on top do not realize what they're doing by making medications uh, expensive, let's say for in the US? They don't know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They have excuses for everything. Human beings always have self, self excuse, excuses. Yeah. Say, uh, Sigmund Freud told it uh, rationalisierungen, rationalizations. And in this world they live. I do this all the time. You know, when I do something bad, then I rationalize it like everyone else, you know. Yeah, because we are human beings and we cannot live with, with the idea that we are bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's we true. cannot live with this idea. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Hitler even was a good guy, I guess. <laughs> he, he thought he would rescue the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is a, the thing uh, that the, the pharmaceutical industry, this could help us even with the reform, because as long as they think they are the best for the people, they will not, not, not get fear that they will lose money because they are the best. But the question, <laughs> is, the question is how to get there. Yeah. Uh, my, quest, uh, my point is, Imagine here would be Greta Thunberg, here would be Luisa Neubauer, and here would be uh, uh, here 
and we would have journalists here. We would make a press conference and make a deal with, with the government of Germany. And the deal would be 90% of each of each, each billion by, uh, produced by the, uh, by the reforms will be, I will give to climate. Yeah? And this would, would be the deal. And then we would control it. And then we would strike whenever they are sleeping. <laughs> This is our solution model. Because without Greta Thunberg, we have no chance. Because nobody, nobody in Germany listens to professors. Yeah, the question is how to build a critical mass.